For today, I've got a bit of a different video planned for you guys. Today, I'm going to be talking about not just NBA analysis like I'd usually do on this channel. For those of you that follow it, I make all kinds of analytics videos about the NBA, analyzing it, making predictions, rankings, overall analysis on players and teams, and all that kind of stuff. But today, I'm going to be talking about a specific NBA player as kind of his off-court antics throughout his career, and especially recently as well. And of course, this player here is kind Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is one of the most unique individuals, if not the most unique person in the NBA out of the players and really in the NBA community overall. And it's so interesting to look at all of the weird stuff that he's done and said throughout his career and even recently. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. It's the off season. I'm running out of actual NBA content if I'm being honest with you guys and I wanted to make this video because it kind of just popped in my head and I think a lot of you guys will find it pretty interesting so let's get into it the first thing I want to talk about is something that Kyrie tweeted out recently that has kind of made this whole Kyrie is weird thing a whole topic again and a whole discussion and trend and you're gonna see this topic throughout the and theme throughout the video of how Kyrie really doesn't think before he speaks and as an influential person like Kyrie who's one of the best basketball players in the NBA obviously this is not a good thing but for example what I'm gonna be talking about first is on September 15th of this year on 2021 Kyrie tweeted out these exact words. He said, my mask is off. Now take yours off. No fear. And obviously he's not thinking before making this tweet because everyone is thinking he's referring to what obviously we think he's referring to, which is the COVID pandemic. Obviously this has been a thing for a year and a half now, a very controversial topic. It has always been in the US and Kyrie basically is saying to take your mask off by doing this tweet. At least think people think he's saying that. And then later, Later, he did clarify that that's not actually what his message was in the tweet. He later tweeted out that the exact same day that what he actually meant to say by the quote unquote mask off is basically like being yourself and that he was trying to send out kind of like an inspirational message. But like, come on, man, Kyrie is clearly not thinking before he's making this tweet because he knows that people are going to interpret this the wrong way. And he knows that pretty much when you see this tweet exactly, you think he's talking about the pandemic. So you're going to see this theme throughout the video like I said of Kyrie's one of those guys who despite being very influential he rarely actually thinks before he tweets and thinks before he speaks and that's just something I noticed about Kyrie and it's kind of just been the way that he always has been throughout his NBA career and throughout all of the times that he's been a relevant figure in this community and it's kind of an unfortunate thing because he's getting in a lot of controversy in different areas of basketball and the NBA community because of how he'll take these actions without thinking before speaking. And when it comes to the COVID guidelines in Kyrie as well, there was a whole other situation at the beginning of last year, how he actually missed five games during the start of the season due to personal reasons. And these personal reasons were literally just him taking time off from the game of basketball, but he broke the NBA COVID guidelines during this time and also got into a bunch of controversy here as well and never really spoke out about it and this is something to hear that's kind of very rare around the NBA community so these are a couple of examples of Kyrie really just doesn't think before he speaks and does really weird things when it comes to kind of the last year and a half with this pandemic the next thing I want to talk about here is Kyrie and what he's done with his relationship with the Boston Celtics over the last four to five years and this is one of the most interesting team and player relationships that we have pretty much ever seen. I mean, in 2017, after the Cavs, or actually in 2016, after they won that NBA championship, Kyrie obviously requested a trade after winning the championship with LeBron James. I'm going to be talking about that later on in the video as well, and that whole situation and how that was so weird. But he requested a trade, and he was traded to the Boston Celtics just so he could be the main guy on the team. And he played that whole season with them. It was a decent season for them, except Gordon Hayward did get injured and they weren't able to ultimately win that championship that they wanted to but in the next season early in that 2018-19 season Kyrie actually made a promise in front of the TD Garden that he planned on re-signing with the Boston Celtics in that offseason and 
again this is something that we've never really seen any players do literally go and stand at center court of their home arena and tell fans their futures with their financial future and their free agency and that they plan on re-signing with that team and again this is another scenario of Kyrie not thinking before he's speaking and he should have only done this if he was 1000% guaranteed that he was going to stay in Boston and obviously in that offseason things don't go well for this team Kyrie gets very frustrated with the supporting cast and young supporting cast around him and he ends up leaving and signing with the Brooklyn Nets so this is one of those things where again like I said Kyrie's not thinking before he's speaking and I don't really see what the purpose was behind going in front of TD Garden and saying that he's going to re-sign with that team then from then on ever since Kyrie's been on the Brooklyn Nets he's done some really weird things with this team I mean after that one game in last season he was stomping on their team logo right in the eye of the Celtic guy on the center court and then there was that other game too where Kyrie started sage burning at the TD Garden which is something that he does with his ritual and he says that it comes from a lot of native tribes and it was something that he apparently was something that would remove negative energy from a space so basically I think his message here was that the TD Garden is now such a negative place towards him and that's what he was doing before that game so this whole relationship the best way to describe this is weird and that's what I wanted to point out as well in this video is just how weird this team player relationship has been and Ky how Kyrie has really not handled it well at all and this whole thing where he promised to resign I really just don't understand why he had to do that. There was literally no point and purpose behind it. Before I get into the weirdest part about Kyrie Irving in this video, which I think most of you know what it is, but I will be adding on to it. Before we get into that, I want to talk about one more thing that actually has something to do with basketball. We talked about the relationship with Kyrie and the Boston Celtics, but also how really over the course of his career in general, it took him a really long time to actually mature as a player. In 2016, basically when he was drafted in 2011 and he played his whole career up to 2016 with the Cleveland Cavaliers and teamed up with LeBron James when he came back to the Cavaliers in 2015. They made the finals in 2015 and then ultimately, of course, won that incredible championship, the 3-1 comeback against the Golden State Warriors in 2016. Kyrie was the second option on this team and had a career year so far in his career in that 2016 season. And after that year, as we know, Kyrie requested a trade just so he could be the main guy on a team and like I said, ultimately went to the Boston Celtics. This is one of the weirdest things we've ever Ever seen a player requesting a trade literally after they've won the championship and I'm sure pretty much 90% of the players around the NBA league right now would have an amazing experience and really want to play alongside LeBron James but Kyrie actually requested a trade because he didn't want to play with him and you can see where he's coming from here because he did want to be that main guy and get more clout which as weird as this seems obviously a lot of us can relate to this I mean having the eyes on you as much as we don't want to admit it is something that most of us usually want and Kyrie definitely wanted that so and he was also probably going to get more money when being a first option opposed to a second option but still leaving a championship team and actually requesting a trade so going out of your way to do it is something that is obviously very weird we've seen Kawhi Leonard for example leave the Toronto Raptors after winning a championship but he still heavily considers staying with them and he was a free agent anyway it's not like he requested a trade from a championship team to go to another team so anyway now Kyrie like I said he was on the Celtics and ultimately got to the point where he actually didn't want to be that leader anymore and the the time that he apologized to LeBron James after everything that's gone on in 2018 that was kind of I think the turning point of Kyrie's career and when he became more of a mature player because he realized that he wasn't going to be necessarily happy and have an ideal situation in any spot because he didn't like to be the leader on the main team and he didn't like to be the second option so it certainly took him a while to mature and realize that there was never going to be an actual ideal situation for him and he went through a lot of bumps and curves in the way 
of actually becoming a mature and veteran type of player. And now he's teamed up with kind of a super team with the Brooklyn Nets having Kevin Durant and now obviously James Harden. And he's actually accepted the role of being that third option. But you can see it definitely took him a long time to get to that stage where he realized that he was never going to be in an actual ideal situation and realized that he couldn't be the number one guy on a team that's going to win a championship, unfortunately. Now, lastly, before I end off this video, let's talk about the weirdest part of Kyrie Irving and what the things he said over his career. And for this topic, we're going to completely disregard anything basketball related. Kyrie in 2017 has had multiple times where he claimed that he believes and he truly does believe that the earth is flat. I think all of us knew about this. There were many times where he was around teammates and on some guy's podcast and he would say the earth is flat and actually legitimately try to back it up and it really seemed like he truly believed that the earth was actually flat and later actually pretty much throughout the whole 2017 calendar year he was coming out with remarks about this and it was a whole big thing around the NBA community and obviously this is a very weird thing to say and that's obviously not true and in 2018 he finally actually came out and actually apologized about this and said that he quote didn't realize the effect basically saying that all these people that follow Kyrie Irving and look up to him were looking at him saying that the earth is flat and that he was actually saying it was a joke so this whole time that he was actually legitimately looking like he actually believed the earth is flat he was actually claimed at least to be joking about it now actually saying that the earth is flat is not only the incredibly weird thing that Kyrie has said in February of 2016 when he was on Richard Jefferson and Channing Fry's podcast he made some very very weird remarks about things that he does and doesn't believe in for example saying that the moon landing was faked that dinosaurs never existed and saying that the education system is designed to lie to us saying that he listens to audiobooks while taking a nap and also saying that NASA has lied to us about rover missions on Mars and many many more weird things about about just weird off the court stuff that most of this is just simply not true and very weird and overall you guys get the point I mean this is just some really weird stuff and the earth is flat was just the beginning of some weird stuff that Kyrie Irving said on this podcast so there you guys have it that is going to be the end of today's video today was definitely a way different video that i've never really tried to make a video like this before so let me know what you guys think of it let me know what you think of Kyrie irving overall and i don't want you guys to take this video the wrong way i'm a huge fan of Kyrie irving as a basketball player right now i think he's actually underrated in the community right now as a basketball player i think he's probably turning into maybe even a top 50 player of all time and right now currently in the nba i think he's probably a top 12 player right now so I obviously think he's a very good player I like watching him play obviously he's very fun to watch on the court I just wanted to point out some of these things that stand out to me on just the weird and very interesting things that he's done off the court during his basketball career so thank you guys for watching I appreciate you guys if you watch the whole video if you're new make sure be sure to hit that subscribe button comment down below your thoughts and I'll see you all in the next video